Hi, it's James here from the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas. And uh, I know I've been absent for a while. I've been out of state in the, the beautiful country of Nebraska. And uh, for about three and a half months now. Anyway, I'm back and I thought we would uh, start off on the right foot with a video. Not just any video, something that's been going around in my mind for a while. It is an uh, idea posed to me by a good friend of mine, Mr. Robert Robinette, fellow Texan has to do with tongs. You know, not, not pause tongs like this, but little tongs. It's hard enough to make a set of full-size tongs, and uh, a great many blacksmiths kind of detest making their own tongs, but it's necessary evil. Uh, so, little tongs are harder to make, and they're fun. I've got two pieces, four and a half inch long each, and they are three-eighths square stock. And I've got an old piece of welding rod that I'm going to use for a uh, rivet. So I'm going to make this little set of tongs. And I encourage you to make your own little set of tongs. However big these turn out, it's going to be the maximum size they can be. Because this is going to be a challenge for all of you. And uh, we're going to let it run until Halloween. And at that point, there's going to be a prize. A prize for the winner of the mini tong challenge. So... Without further ado, I'm going to get one of these in the fire, make a rain, and once I've made that rain, I'm not going to put you through making both of them. I will match it up, make two, and then we'll go on with the, uh, the punching and the assembly process and make some mini tongs. And I won't tell you yet what the prize is going to be. Uh, we'll talk about that at the close of the video. So let's make some little tongulators. See you in a minute. Back in. Back in. More heat.
short heat there. Gonna punch a hole in it. Heat. Too cold. Back in. Flip. Straighten it up. Size that hole. Got our rivet hole punched. That rain's done. I'll get on making the other rain. We'll get together to assemble these. See you in a minute. Okay, I've made the other tong blank uh, to fit this one, and uh, it's worth your time to spend a little time with the file. You can go ahead and clean up this inside edge, and make sure you clean up the area that's the, the friction area that's going to join the other rein. If you don't do that, you might get your tongs tight and work them a few times and they will get sloppy and loosen up when the burrs come loose. So go ahead and, and clean up real nice where your tongs are going to join together and make sure that you clean up the little corners in here where they're going to have to close. And then look through your hole and make sure everything is going to be right. Now I've taken a piece of a welding rod uh, for the rivet because they're so small. If you want to use welding rods for stuff, all you have to do is you know, bust the flux off of them and you've got a little rod of steel that you can use for stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and fit this rivet inside these and warm the bosses up and start to set it with this balding hammer. Here's what we're going to do. Now, ideally, whatever the diameter of the rivet is, you want one and a half times the diameter of the rivet sticking out each side. To be able to have enough material out here to, to form a head to head the rivet. So we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, a little here, a little there, 
flat and then once we get them flat enough we're going to uh, come in with the peen the ball peen and set them down nicely so I'm gonna get this in the fire get it hot and we're going to set this little rift see you in a minute all right let's get them out of there get this thing Just a little dog a little bit. Okay, now uh, they're going to be kind of tight. So being that they're so small, I can't just grab a hold of them. And don't forget that, because you might hurt yourself. So i got to get a couple of pairs of tongs so I can uh, work them apart. Like you do when you're typically making tongs. So, to the slack tub. feel a little bit uh, uncomfortably spread so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the reins lock this in there put it in the vise and we're going to adjust them just a little bit so I'm going to pan the camera over to the vise so you can see the adjustment and then we'll talk about the uh, the prize see you in a minute uh-huh the more tedious this is we're gonna lock that in there create a good fit with the jaws now we're gonna adjust those rings while we got heat Punch them off. See you in a minute. All right, we have set the rivet. We got them all cleaned up, quenched off. Here's uh, the 532 welding rod. Uh, yeah, 532 welding rod <laughs> that I made the rivet out of. So let's see if we can hold on to it. Very nice. They're functional. They're strong. They're actual tongs and not toys. A tong that can then hold little stuff. Um, let me grab the scale. We'll see how long these are. So we got to control on the longest they can be. Alright, nose to toes. 
which are exactly seven and five eighths inches. So let's call it eight inches, just to give a little wiggle room there. No longer than eight inches. They have to be functional, and they have to be tongs. Uh, bonus points if they're not flat jaws, but hey, they're tongs. Anyway, the prize. Let's get to the prize. We're going to let this run until Halloween, the 31st of October. We're going to let this run and uh, it, it make you a video uh, and just put uh, hashtag Little Tong Challenge. L I L, Little Tong Challenge. And uh, that's what we're going to call this. And whoever, uh, it's going to be a rough decision, just like the Make a Mallet Challenge. Oh my. You know, everybody that did, that did a mallet for that challenge just floored me. So choosing one to win was, yeah, you don't want to be me trying to pick from that. No. Anyway, got your little tongs. They can't exceed eight inches. They have to hold stuff. You got till Halloween, and uh, the winner will win a mini cross peen hammer, functional cross peen hammer that probably will weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of this little ball peen. So, yeah, and it's going to have my touch mark on it, and I might do some purties to it. There will be a video on making that hammer. Anyway, um, glad to be back, uh, back in the smithy making videos. There's going to be a video involving a flintlock musket because I need a shot measure for it. We're going to forge one. And uh, we're going to talk about a channel that you should check out, uh, Veteran Iron and Wood. Uh, yeah, forge a gun barrel. Forge a black powder gun barrel and uh, forge a lock. And uh, that's still in progress. So be sure to follow Veteran Iron and Wood. I'll put the, the link in the description of this video so you can uh, check out his channel because it's very interesting. And uh, I had some fun up there with him in Nebraska. Anyway, no more than eight inches. Gotta work. Run till Halloween. Submit your videos and add the hashtag Little Tong Challenge. L-I-L, Little Tong Challenge. And I will be forced to choose somebody to win the hammer. And, uh... There you go. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you gleaned something from this. Uh, maybe you got the basic idea how to put together a basic set of little songs. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for this evening. Until next time, bye.